Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing the formation of acids and salts. To be specific, these are binary acids, ternary acids, and ternary salts. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. When we say acids, there are two types of acids. We have binary and ternary acids. When we say that an acid is binary, it is composed of two different elements. Hydrogen is combined with a halogen, either fluorine, chlorine, iodine, or bromine, and the bonding is true covalent bonding. Let's say we have hydrogen and fluorine. This is the atomic structure of hydrogen which has one energy level and its lone electron, while this one is the atomic structure of fluorine with two energy levels wherein at the second energy level it has seven electrons. Since both hydrogen and fluorine, they are non-metal elements, that means through covalent bonding, they will share electrons. The lone electron of hydrogen will be shared to fluorine. In this case, fluorine will have now 8 valence electrons as the hydrogen share its lone electron. And at the same time, one of the 7 valence electrons of fluorine is also shared with hydrogen to complete the 2 electrons at the energy level of hydrogen and they form covalent bonding, that is true sharing of electrons. And so, they form the binary acid called HF or hydrofluoric acid. This is also the same as how to form the different binary acids such as hydrochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, and hydrobromic acid. The difference is that Hydrofluoric acid is the simplest among binary acids, while the other binary acids, they differ in number of energy level and size. Let us now talk about ternary compounds. So when we say ternary compounds, these are compounds composed of three or more different elements. We have ternary acids, wherein Hydrogen ion is combined with a what we call polyatomic anion. We also have ternary salts wherein a metal, to be specific, an alkali metal, will combine with a polyatomic anion. Polyatomic anion is a molecule with negative charge. That means it is a compound with negative net charge. These are some common polyatomic anions. We have the carbonate, sulfate, chromate, acetate, bromate, oxalate, silicate, borate, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate, and chlorate. And there are some more polyatomic anions. They are molecules or compounds with negative net charge. Let us now form ternary acids. As we've said earlier, ternary acids are formed through the combination of hydrogen ion with polyatomic anions. So let's say we have hydrogen ion, which is H plus 1, combined with carbonate. So we will now have carbonic acid, that is H2CO3. Another one would be H plus 1, and nitrite, NO2, with a charge of negative 1. And so we will form HNO2 or nitrous acid. In naming ternary acids, we simply change the last three letters of the name of the carb uh, polyatomic anions. For example, if we use carbonate, 
we will change the last three letters of ATE into IC. So from carbonate, it becomes carbonic and then we add the word acid. And as for the polyatomic anions that end with ITE, like nitrite, we change the ITE into OUS to make it nitrous acid. Another example would be chloride. If we combine it with hydrogen ion, we form chlorous acid. Another one would be if we combine hydrogen ion with acetate, we form acetic acid. That is how we name ternary acids. For ternary salts, we said that ternary salts are formed through the combination of alkali metal and a polyatomic anion. Let's say we have the magnesium which has a charge of plus 2, which will be combined with carbonate, which has a charge of negative 2, we will form MgCO3, or that is magnesium carbonate. For potassium that has a charge of plus 1, it will combine with sulfate with a charge of negative 2, we will have K2SO4. The numerical value of the charge of sulfate will become the subscript of the metal, so that becomes K2. So we have K2SO4 or potassium sulfate. And then lastly, let's say we have aluminum, which has a charge of plus 3 combined with carbonate negative 2. The numerical value of 2 of the charge of carbonate will become the subscript of aluminum. So we will have Al2. And then the numerical value of 3 from the charge of aluminum will be the subscript of the entire polyatomic anion CO3. So it will now have a parenthesis. We use parenthesis to emphasize that the whole polyatomic anion will receive the subscript of 3 coming from the charge of aluminum. So we will now have Al2CO3-3, or this is now what we call aluminum carbonate. So that is how we formulate binary acids, ternary acids, and ternary salts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new about acids and salts. See you next time in our following video lessons. Thank you.